You can't put young up against um, experience, period. I don't care how much education they have. I don't care how many hit songs you have. I don't care how famous you is. Honey, you cannot touch me with a 10-foot pole. You could never withstand what I've been able to withstand and do all that I've been able to accomplish just because you're famous. It's disrespectful. You know what I mean? And they do, this same mentality has, has leaked into the general community. You got the same, let's get something because you can get money for the kids or you can get extra kudos or extra work out of these kids because they want to be competitive anyway. So they'll come in and work for cheap just to knock somebody else off the box. And now we've got a community of people in all different industries where the mentality is not let's partner, let's partner with the older generation, the more experienced people which will behoove them too, because we're the ones we can, you know, we know how to do it. You know, we know how to get the thing done. It, we don't just rely on our education, but th you know, you can't equate experience in time, you know, and hands-on elements where you have been a top tile learner. And then to whereas somebody that just got a degree on paper and they have no experience, but they have somewhat of an understanding or they looked at YouTube to try to figure it out. There's no comparison. And it's so degrading and disrespectful. You know what I mean? So therefore um, being a voice and, you know, and being able to position things where there's conversations around this and the rapidemic, um, it is critical. Rapidemic is a conversation. You know what I'm saying? And it's a platform that I'm standing on to have these real conversations because nobody's being real. Everybody's just accepting this foolishness. And I'm like, is anybody awoke? <laughs> and it's like, uh, hello, everybody. Knock, knock. Anybody there? Do you guys understand? Anybody that's content with only listening to one message? Anybody that's content to just sitting in an industry that is stagnated and that makes you always have to feel like you got to be young. I mean, come on. So with the Work It Project, there is, um, and the Sprinkle Me Learning Academy, I, where they're education platforms, you know, where you can get wisdom and knowledge, personal transformation, um, coaching, and skills building, and opportunities where there are not just one area of success, because as you see, everybody want to be a rapper now. Or a singer. I'm like, would a real people please stand up? <laughs> I just want to see some more doctors and some nurses and some teachers and some, you know, it's just, it's just so many places that we could be besides entertainment and in front of the camera. And I'm just like, so done with it. So there are people that are all trying to um, create an atmosphere for that and they lose out and they, you know, forget that there are so many other pathways to success. So we provide them with those pathways to success. And we try to iron out that balance and give them truthful transformation, um, you know, coaching that really gets them to think and meet them in the areas to keep them well. We really try to get into the wellness, you know, because this is a narcissistic community now. And some of us don't even know that we're sick. You know what I mean? The whole element of this whole, uh, presence of foolishness being glorified, it's created a narcissistic society. So, you know, so I try to reach and bring information and knowledge and resources and different types of layers, depending on where they are to meet them at. And I have a team that works to do that and just try to keep some sort of initiative and some conversation that reaches the uh, general public, you know, versus just, you know, for fame and not just give them music, but, you know, give them some information so they can have a better chance of being successful. Well, that's tremendous. So how can people, what are the best ways for them to get in touch and to find this? So um, I work with different organizations, um, specifically the non uh, nonprofits and a lot of um, working uh, corporations and, um, and through them is where their groups lie. As far as information on, um, on the academy, people can get um, into the academy on their own. They can just go to Sprinkle Me Learning Academy and they can um, get a class there. So you guys can go there and pick a class you want and there are online courses that you can um, take on a computer or a phone or a tablet. And um, it gives you practical skills of things you wanna learn um, and that can help you, you know, kind of a crash course presentation and allow you to interact with, um, you know, with the elements necessary for you to move through whatever that is that you're focusing on or interested in learning. Um, so there you go. Sprinkle Me Learning Academy and, um, and you can make it pop.
<laughs> there it is. We'll show it to you. We really appreciate you coming through the Unique Access. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've had a unique experience. <laughs> As you should. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs>